Hey, this is Maximo, and welcome to Tipples and Treats. Today we're at Hugh Hamilton Winery in McLaren Vale. McLaren Vale is about a half an hour drive to the south of Adelaide in South Australia. So we're going to have um, a wine tasting and uh, we might even buy a couple of uh, bottles of the wines. So sit back, relax and enjoy. And if you so choose, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks. Hugh Hamilton Wines is about a 40 minute drive south of Adelaide. I'll put a map up uh, on the side. Hugh Hamilton Wines is a fifth generation winemaker and his daughter Mary is the sixth generation, which makes it Australia's oldest family run winery. We got there about 11 um, a.m. and it was best to pre-book because we got the, the last free table. We tried Mary's Autumn Picks, five wines for about $20 per person and we shared um, the wine tasting. They serve some really nice um, non-alcoholic Shiraz Cordial and another white wine based sort of juicy drink that was uh, really nice, so I forget the name of, and they were really great to cleanse the palate. It was very noisy uh, and the sound was unusable, hence the, the voiceover. See what I mean? The first one we tried was the 2021 Trickster Pinot Grigio, which was 12% uh, alcohol. That was quite a nice wine. Uh, it was tending to the semi-dry to slightly sweet side. Uh, we tasted sort of pear and citrus. It was crisp with a nice uh, sharpish finish. The second wine was the 2021 Skin Deep Frontignac Chardonnay Voigne. That was 13% alcohol. That wine was uh, musky, spicy. We tasted citrus and semi-dried fruits. Uh, a bit flowery and straw sort of tasting and it finished with uh, a nice hint of spice. The third one was the Agent Provocateur Grenache. That came in at 14.5%. It was quite fruity. Uh, taste of cherry, raspberry um, has both uh, spice and texture. It was a fairly light wine similar to a Pinot Noir. The fourth wine we tried was a Rat Bag 2021 Merlot. It came in also at 14.5% alcohol. It was quite fruity with hints of cinnamon and some Indian spices we couldn't really sort of put our finger on. It was quite spicy, it was distinctive and uh, had lingering tannins. The fifth wine was a 2020 Black Ops Shiraz Sapavari at 14.8%. The dark fruits black tea, sort of roasted beetroot, uh, slight, slight metallic irony taste um, and we can had, also had hints of plum and smoke. It was quite strong in tannins, quite rich and uh, deep. The last wine was 2020 Rascal Shiraz that came in at 14.8% and the cost was $29.50. It was a great uh, Shiraz, dark flute, fruits uh, with oak undertone, really gutsy, blackberry, well-rounded, quite manageable tannins. Uh, it will sell uh, uh, for a number of years and we thought so much of it that uh, we bought one. We had a great time there, well worth a visit, but um, as I said, uh, pre-booked to avoid any disappointment.